thank you so much for joining me in this video today and guess what y'all we are making wing sauce i mean who doesn't love a good wing sauce i mean come on i don't even eat chicken but i know i love me some good wing sauce i can still put it on shrimp i can still put it on salmon i can put it on other things too you know what i mean so i have three different wing sauces that i am going to be creating today and i'm gonna have richard try them since i don't eat chicken and rate them one through 10 and see which one he likes the best. So if you wanna see how we created these wing sauces, definitely keep watching this video. All right, y'all, jumping right in, we're gonna take some Red Frank's hot sauce. In this video, I did about two cups, but you can do like one cup if you're making it for a smaller group. Um, I really love Red Frank's, I think it's the jam. Like, what do you think? What's your favorite hot sauce? Comment down below. But anyway, so then we're gonna take about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, slap that bad boy in there. And then after that, we're gonna take about four tablespoons of butter, melt that in there. And then after we do that, we're gonna add some brown sugar to it. I did about a full cup of brown sugar because I want it to be like a sweet heat sauce. But if you're going for more of that buffalo style sauce, only do the one fourth cup of sugar or just do less sugar so you can kind of, you know, just, just taste it and see what you think. When it comes to cooking, you definitely want to taste it and see how it, how it's like, what's the vibe, you know what I mean? So I, like I said, you want it to be like a rich dark brown color um, and just add as much sugar as you like. Like I said, I did one whole cup of it. And then after that, you're basically done. And this is over a medium low heat, by the way. Okay, so moving on to our next sauce. We're gonna use this Korean fermented red pepper paste. And this is so fire, y'all. I love this red paste. I will, man, it's so good. I'll put this on anything. But anyway, so I'm gonna do about one fourth cup of this. Um, and in the end, I end up adding more because I was making this for more people so if you're just making this for yourself only do the one fourth cup of the paste and then you want to go in with two tablespoons two tablespoons of dark soy sauce or you could use regular soy sauce if you don't have dark soy sauce okay like i used a bunch because i was making this for a lot of people listen to what i'm saying okay <laughs> listen to what i'm saying to you all right and then you want to do a half of a lime and then you're going to add uh, some sesame oil. I only did like um, a tablespoon of that. And then I only did a, a, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of that. And then I did a teaspoon of the um, uh, white wine, white wine vinegar. Then you want to go ahead and add a little uh, ground ginger to it. Or you could do fresh ginger, totally up to you. Y'all know I love garlic powder. It has my heart. So I'm going to add some garlic powder to this. And then you want to do maple syrup but i ain't had no maple syrup so girl you gotta use regular syrup okay this is what we doing all right this is what we doing so i had to use regular syrup and then after that you want to mix all this together make sure it's nice and combined um and then you want to add a little bit of water to this too to kind of dilute it to make it a little bit looser and um oh yeah i forgot i added some more brown sugar to it so this i only did one fourth cup of brown sugar i didn't do a lot of brown sugar when it came to this recipe because i wasn't so worried much about the sweetness i was more on the like salty sweetness vibe you know what i mean so here's me adding just a little bit of water it's probably like a good two tablespoons of water and then um, i'm gonna mix that up like i said this is a medium low heat and then in this next clip you're gonna see i had to get a a, a sauce pot or pan sauce pan whatever this is, because I needed to make more and I actually added some butter to it. And y'all, it was so freaking good. Again, everything that I'm mentioning will be down in the description box because if I'm confusing y'all, I am so sorry, okay? I'm trying to hurry up and get this video done. My kids is on my back right now. So I'm sorry if I'm scrambling. I'm all over the place. Check the description box. All right, moving on to the next sauce. You want to take um, about a tablespoon or two of sesame oil in a pan add some garlic to it some minced garlic to it and then you want to take some um strawberry jam and add about hmm, i think i did about two or three three tablespoons i did three tablespoons of this bad boy right here um and you can always add more if you want to so yeah, you want to do like a preservative or a jam or jelly, whatever you got is fine. All right. And then I added about a, a tablespoon of coconut aminos, one fourth cup of brown sugar. And then um, we are going to go ahead and combine all of this together. And um, again, medium low heat right now. I'm not cooking nothing on medium high. We want to 
slow and steady wins the race when it comes to these sauces all right so i'm just going to combine that all up together and then once it kind of it gets a little bubble like it is like that everything's nice and melted then i'm going to add about a tablespoon of red wine vinegar and give that another little stir when it comes to cooking, y'all, I cannot stress this. Please use a little bit at a time. You can always go in and add more later. All right, so then now we're going to add some salt to this. Uh, just a couple pinches. Because if you're using soy sauce um, or coconut aminos, it already is very salty. And you, you, we ain't trying to have high blood pressure over here. We really not. But anyway, and then you want to add a little bit of honey to this. And then after that, you want to cook it on low for a little bit. And turn until it turns into like a nice rich dark brown color and then after that your sauce is done you can slap that on something okay so we got richard here my husband if you don't know who this is so y'all know i don't eat chicken so i can't tell you if it's good and i can taste the sauce but i do <laughs> but it's not the same so we got richard here and richard's gonna try the chicken and he's gonna rate the sauces from what one through ten or you want to do one through five one through ten well we'll do one through five one through five yeah. one through five all right Yay. here we go we have this one's my sauce this one's the strawberry preserve wing right let me see yeah okay so strawberry preserve wing sauce and then this one is like a new wing sauce that I'm trying out and I don't know what to call it yet. Alright, go ahead and try the first one for me. Alright. This one? Yeah, you try that one first if you want to. The strawberry one? Yeah, that's the strawberry preserve one. Alright, good. Different. Different. Different? It's very good though. Okay. Okay. I get this one. About a four. A four? That's a very yeah. high rating. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Four. Four. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm gonna try a signature. I'm very familiar with this, bro. Okay. So I know this a five. You know? <laughs> he just saying that because he sleep next yeah. to me. I, I can taste it. Five, y'all. <laughs> What's the name of this one? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm not sure what the call is. Oh my god. <laughs> This one tastes like a chicken and waffle though. It do. It do? Okay. You gotta taste the syrup a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can I could take the sweetness. Okay. I'm good. I get it from a four too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so if you had to rate all of them in different categories, what would be number three, two, and then one? Probably the original one. Okay. So that's two. number one. Um uh, I say chicken and waffle too. Chicken waffle number two? Okay. And three, that strawberry one. And three, strawberry yeah. one. Thanks, love, for participating in this. I appreciate it. No problem. Okay. <laughs> All right, so y'all heard it here. Richard says that my wing sauce is number one, but the new wing sauce is number two. That's good. So that's pretty good. And then the strawberry preserve one, which is a recipe that I found from somebody else. So, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so... Well, so do you think we should add all of these to our like wing rotation? Oh uh, yeah, most definitely. Okay, cool. cool. Uh -huh. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me in this video today. I hope you try out these recipes yourself, and I think they. I hope they taste amazing to you. Comment down below which one you're messing with, which one you like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, I will be very angry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. You guys are amazing. You be blessed. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.